All right, high school saxophones. This is a, a little late coming, my bad. I just haven't found the time to uh, get this video out to you yet. But this is uh, just a quick little video that I wanted to make uh, to show you what all I wanted you all to work on uh, during part of this break specifically. So let's go ahead and get down to it. Let's take a look at Great Movie Adventures. Yay. So in case you aren't aware, uh, that one part of measure 18 da 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 that part is just not coming together yet and uh, I really want that to come out during the concert because right there you guys are the moving line you have the melody so uh, I really want that to be a huge focus for y'all it does say forte there so you have permission to play it loud um, it really needs to come out <laughs> playing on a, an inferior saxophone so please excuse any bad sounds that I might make that is I'm trying my best <laughs> which I always ask <laughs> and you want to make sure that it's coming out nice and smooth so yeah I only ask for your best there so that is one area that I want y'all to really focus on. Da, 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 uh, then again, towards the end, during ET, there is one section where y'all have the melody over at measure 70. It is just the saxophones there with the melody, and that part really needs to come out as well. Well, the saxophones and clarinet. So, ba, ba, da, 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 da. It is changing meter from 4-4 uh, four, four to 2-4, back and forth, but it's just changing every every measure. The beat doesn't change, nothing changes. It's just the way that you count it. So you want that to come out really, really loud. Three times coming up. So yeah, let me play that again for you. Cool. So, I want that to come out really well. And that just about does it for uh, Great Movie Adventures, except uh, that one part. Uh, right before 86, I'll play Blair's part first. Uh, we want the style to really come out there. The little uh, lines on top, the tenuto markings need to uh, sound different than the staccatos. Let me show you what I mean. You notice how I held out the, the tenuto marks uh, longer than the staccato marks. Bobby, I'll play yours. It'll sound different since I'm playing on an alto saxophone but I'll play yours real quick. So you want to make sure that comes out all the way. And then towards the end, uh, just make sure that you're doing the forte piano the best of your ability. You're starting off loud. You want to make sure that that grows all the way to the forte at the end. Oh yeah, I, I did the pictures on. Or ba, ba, and then we have the fumata at the end. So yeah, that is great movie adventures. Now get out pictures at an exhibition. This is mostly going pretty well. Bobby, we're having just a few issues with counting during the head of the Bobby Yeager. Uh, we tend to you tend to play your eighth notes kind of fast at 43 so just make sure that you're counting very carefully that's more of an issue during practice and then at uh, 51 make sure that you're always playing on count two rest rest two rest two rest two rest two but overall uh, pictures at an exhibition is going pretty well I do want y'all to focus on the great gate of Kiev after 99. 
We are in cut time, so that means that all the uh, whole notes are really half notes, they're two beats. All the chord notes are eight, are really eighth notes, so they're half a beat. Uh, Bobby, we have at measure 118. We have uh, some triplets. They need to sound like. And then we have that 3 2 measure, which is just 2 2 with an added beat. It's not hard at all. We just have ba, one, two, three. And then the dotted half notes are a beat and a half. Ba, 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 ba. So let me play at that 3 2 measure. I'm going to get out my metronome, which y'all should be practicing with. There are tons of free metronomes online that you can download to your phone. I highly recommend you uh, downloading one. They're very helpful. And yeah. So here is my half note beat. Da, 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 da. And let me play that part for y'all. I can't read that as a B. My bad. Might have played around a note here or there, but you get the idea. That's the beat that we're looking at right there. And then once we get past 126, make sure that we're counting one, two, ah. Player, that's for you. One, two, ah. One, two, ah. Or alto saxophones, because James is probably going to watch this video too. Uh, one, two, ah. One, two, ah. And then that uh, whole, those whole notes at the end, we want to come down quiet. Let's make it kind of like another forte piano. And then we all end at the exact same time. And Bobby, whenever you come in on count three of those measures towards the end at measure... 132. We want to make sure that you come in right on count three. Come in nice and hard, nice and heavy. So we get that kind of uh, bell tone effect. If you get what I, if you get my gist. So that is pictures. That is something that I want y'all to work on on your own. Uh, Havana. Really, the biggest thing is just making sure that we get the style down. Uh, James, I know you tend to want to not actually even tongue uh, the melody parts. You tend to do this. You're just you're not even tonguing it. Make sure that if you do use your tongue, it just has to be kind of legato, kind of a longer tongue. Anytime you have a short note, make sure it's a short note. Uh, any staccatos, any long notes need to be held out as long as as they need to be. Da, 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 da. But yeah, so that is about all that I have to suggest for Havana. Just make sure that all your notes and rhythms are coming down. Uh, so yeah, that is all I'm going to leave you all with for today. Uh, keep working on your scales. Keep working on your music. And happy practicing.